Sometimes, individuals and their loved ones are confronted with the harrowing diagnosis of advanced cancer, where traditional treatment options are limited or seem inadequate. In these critical times, the search for effective and hopeful treatments becomes a paramount concern. Fortunately, the realm of cancer therapy is experiencing a revolution, particularly with the advent of immunotherapies. These groundbreaking treatments harness a patient's own immune system to combat cancer, offering a new ray of hope in the fight against this formidable disease. The crux of this approach lies in overcoming the cancer's ability to elude immune detection. Often, even when cancer is recognized, the immune system fails to classify it as a threat. Moreover, the body's regulatory mechanisms might suppress an immune response, mistaking it for an autoimmune disorder. Cancer cells cunningly masquerade as normal cells, deceiving the immune system into inaction. In the battle against cancer, researchers are innovating daily. Tactics include marking cancer cells for immune attack, akin to targeting in warfare. Strategies range from tagging cancer cells with viruses to developing vaccines targeting unique cancer cell proteins. However, this is challenging with heterogeneous cancers like glioblastoma. Initial successes with targeting a few antigens can be short-lived, as the tumor adapts and resurges, often aggressively. The future of cancer treatment lies, especially for the most complex and stubborn cancers, in highly personalized therapies. These will address the specific and varied targets of an individual's tumor, rather than a generic set of antigens. The complexity of creating bespoke treatments for each patient, potentially targeting hundreds of antigens, presents formidable challenges under current regulatory frameworks. Enter dendritic cells, the maestros of the immune system. Discovered by Ralph M. Steinman in 1973, who later received the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2011, these cells are pivotal in orchestrating immune responses. Dendritic cells possess the unique ability to identify and present antigens, effectively, commanding, the immune system. One promising approach, pioneered by researchers at UCLA, leverages the patient's dendritic cells. In this method, a patient's tumor is removed, frozen, and then exposed to specially treated dendritic cells from the patient. These cells are adept at identifying foreign antigens, including mutations and viral particles that contribute to cancer. This personalized process results in dendritic cells that can recognize a vast array of cancer-specific antigens, hundreds or even thousands of potential targets. This is something that even mRNA vaccines won't likely be able to do anytime soon. mRNA research works off of pre-specified sets of antigens. But dendritic cells used in DC Vaxel will, by their nature, identify mutations not ever identified by cancer researchers, putting them leaps and bounds ahead of mRNA research using only previously identified targets. The purified dendritic cells are then used to create a highly personalized vaccine, administered over time to maintain immune stimulation against the tumor and all of its antigens, known and previously unknown. Remarkably, some tumors previously unresponsive to immune attacks can become inflamed and eventually even necrotic, leading to their reduction or disappearance. This method, shown to significantly extend survival in both newly diagnosed and recurrent glioblastoma in a groundbreaking phase 3 trial for glioblastoma, holds great promise for various solid tumors as the process can potentially be replicated with any tumor tissue. DC Vaxel, the vaccine developed through this process, is currently seeking regulatory approval in various regions and has recently filed its application for approval in the UK. It represents a beacon of hope, potentially available on a compassionate basis for those in dire need. The vaccine's efficacy is further enhanced when combined with other treatments, like immune stimulatory drugs and agents blocking immune regulatory responses. So, it is invaluable for those seeking innovative treatment options to understand how emerging therapies work and how they might be effectively combined with complementary treatments. A particularly promising approach involves the integration of different types of therapies to address both the primary cancer and the body's immune responses. For example, in the context of research on DC Vaxel, UCLA is running a trailblazing clinical trial for recurrent glioblastoma patients. The trial combines the personalized cancer vaccine DC Vaxel with additional agents to enhance and regulate the immune response. In this trial, DC Vaxel is used as the core treatment, or standard of care, with polyICLC as an adjuvant immune stimulant. The vaccine will directly target the patient's specific cancer cells, stimulating the immune system to recognize and attack them. To augment the vaccine's response, the trial incorporates an adjuvant immune stimulatory drug called PolyICLC. 
Poly-ICLC is known to boost the body's immune reaction and has shown great promise in a side trial with dc vax -L, stimulating a more vigorous immune attack against the cancer cells. Poly-ICLC is harmless but is designed to mimic a viral or pathogenic attack in the body. When introduced into the body, Poly-ICLC is recognized by the immune system as if it were a viral RNA. Poly-ICLC has no effect by itself on these cancer cells, but with dc vax -L, the recognition triggers a vigorous immune response, particularly activating cells like dendritic cells and macrophages throughout the body, which play key roles in antiviral defense. These cells, upon activation, produce various cytokines and type 1 and 2 interferon gene expressions. A previous study observed many encouraging responses combining dc vax -L only with poly-ICLC, some of which were systemic T-cell activation, monocyte proliferation, a decrease in markers associated with T-cell exhaustion, and various reactions indicating enhanced systemic T-cell activity and improved cellular fitness. These responses are crucial for initiating and invigorating tumor immune responses. A paper submitted by UCLA researchers to a major journal with extremely promising results for that previous, small side trial is in preprint form and is pending final release of a peer-reviewed version. Additionally, the currently enrolling combination trial includes Keytruda for some patients who have received both dc vax -L and Poly-ICLC. I believe that it is likely hoped that by adding Keytruda, the number of patients who are most responsive to the therapy will be substantially expanded. From Merck, Keytruda is a well-known immunotherapy drug. Keytruda works by blocking a specific immune regulatory response known as PD-1, a pathway that cancers often exploit to evade immune detection. By inhibiting this pathway, Keytruda prevents cancer cells from hiding again from the immune system, thereby allowing the immune cells to better identify and destroy them. This synergistic approach, using dc vax -L to target the cancer, Poly-ICLC to amplify the immune response, and Keytruda to circumvent cancer's immune evasion tactics, represents a comprehensive strategy in cancer treatment. This combination aims to not only attack the cancer directly but also to modulate the immune system in a way that overcomes its natural tendency to regulate or suppress excessive responses, which can be a hurdle in effective cancer treatment. The excitement surrounding these kinds of combination treatments and trials, not just this one example, but others as well, is palpable in the oncology community. They embody a holistic approach to cancer therapy, addressing the disease from multiple angles. This kind of multifaceted strategic approach could potentially lead to more effective treatments for various types of cancers, marking a significant advancement in the field of oncology. Doctors might use additional or other drugs to address immune regulatory responses, as they are identified. The future of oncology is ripe with possibilities for agnostic treatments targeting tumors directly. Combinations of these treatments with others, like dc vax -L, are a testament to the innovative spirit driving cancer therapy forward. This innovative spirit of cooperation is being well advanced by President Biden's Cancer Moonshot Program, and the regulatory reforms that have come with it in the 21st Century Cures Act. Trials, like UCLA's combination of the vaccine with immune stimulatory and regulatory response blocking drugs, embody the promise of this new era in cancer treatment. Disclosure, I am not a doctor and this video is not medical advice. It is here for educational purposes only and represents my opinion regarding my own research. I have not been compensated for this video or any other content. I do own shares in Northwest Biotherapeutics, the company commercializing DC Vaxella fuller disclosure is also in the video description. I hope to soon produce a video on the UCLA DC Vaxell side trial which combined just DC Vax L and two different TLR agonists, or immunostimulants, one of which was poly-ICLC, to see which worked better. Initially posted by the researchers in a pre-publication release, without peer review, the results from that side trial were stunning and it revealed several potential mechanisms and biomarkers for efficacy against cancers and tumors as well as incredible survival extension statistics for brain tumor patients. It is hoped that it will be published in a major peer-reviewed journal very soon. So please watch for that. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found this video informative.